Thousands of workers plan to walk off the job next week in what is promised to be a nationwide day of disruption as they push for higher wages and union rights. The far-ranging strike will take place at airports and fast food chains, among other businesses, in hundreds of cities, just as folks return from the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Helping to lead the change is Mary Kay Henry, president of the two million member SEIU uh, Service Employees International Union, joins us from Detroit in a Power Lunch exclusive. Uh, Mary, th Mary, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what is the primary? Glad to be with you. Uh, what is the primary goal uh, of these walkouts? I think we want to shine a light on poverty wage work and make it crystal clear that we're not backing down. Airport baggage handlers, fast food workers, higher education adjunct faculty have something in common, which is they don't earn enough in order to feed themselves and their families. Uh, Raquel Brito is a baggage handler at uh, O'Hare. She earns $11 an hour. That same job 20 years ago was paid $20 an hour. And air airlines subcontracted those jobs out, and now they're minimum wage jobs with no benefits and no guaranteed hours. And these workers are saying enough is enough. We can do better as a country. Tillman, take the other side of that argument. <laughs> That employee is making $11 an hour. There's a reason that they had to subcontract out. They had to subcontract it out because of the fact that they, all the airlines were going into bankruptcy. And so, it, what do you do? It's a merry-go-round. And I have lots of union employees, but it, it is an issue. But it's American capitalism too. If you can find somebody to pay this. It's fair. Why do you even need a union today if you want to know the truth? I pay a lot of people well, we, a lot of wages, I'm, but I don't need to protect an employee today. There's lots of jobs out there if you want a job. Well, a lot of jobs don't allow people to make ends meet and feed their families. And this is a situation where airlines and fast food companies are earning record profits and shareholders are getting buybacks and uh, ticket prices are going up for uh, airlines but workers are having their wages cut in half and so something's wrong with this picture and that's why workers want to join together and demonstrate collectively on November 29th and saying we're not going to back down we're not backing down on wages going up we're not backing down on immigrants being welcome in our country uh, we need an America that works for everyone and an economy that allows us all to win. So you have no problem with disrupting businesses when you do this and affecting... Well, our preference, our preference is for uh, companies to come to the bargaining table and reach an agreement. Um, that's the way it ought to work. But we've been trying to do that for over a year at O'Hare. And so this is a way to create a deadline for the companies to act. And if the companies are unwilling to act, we think we have to join together to try and improve our lives. I appreciate what you're saying. I feel like there should not be a poverty wage in America. I believe for restaurants it should be the tip credit. And people in the kitchen, I have no problem paying 13, 14, 15, 16, 20 dollars an hour if they're qualified. But I don't understand the non-tip credit, but that's really not your union where there is a tip credit, is there? Well, we care about every uh, one of the workers who are working in uh, more than 40 hours a week and living in poverty. And I'm glad to hear that you and I agree that we need to end poverty wage work in America. And that's why we think the national demonstration on November 29th is so important because it draws the country's attention to the fact that uh, millions of Americans are working their hearts out and unable to feed their families. And I think that is something we can all agree is wrong. Well, I hope they come to the table so it doesn't happen because I hate to see other businesses disrupted. And I go back to what happened at the Taj with Coral Icon and all the people lost their jobs because they went on strike. And now all it did is help unemployment in Atlantic City. And, and that's where I'm close to it. And it's just disappointing sometimes. And uh, sometimes it backfires on you, but I hope it works out for you, Mary. Great, thank you. All right, Mary Kay Henry, the SEIU. Thank you very much and happy Thanksgiving, man. Americans holding on to their cars and their trucks for longer than ever. Just how 